For me, the Rolex Middle Series is unique because it's in Mediterranean and uh, I live in south of France. I love racing in Mediterranean and going around uh, this island of Sicily, uh, passing through Messina and having the chance to see the volcano uh, on the islands around is just really amazing. Well, we're on one of the uh, MOD 70s, the Mod 70s, which was, the, uh, which was a one design class that was pretty much a culmination of all the, taking all the good bits of the Orma 60 class, getting rid of all the fragility and all the expensive design aspects that cost a lot, but didn't bring much to the package. So they made this super robust and super reliable boat. And uh, there's gonna be five of them in this event here, which is amazing. We've been sailing with Frank for a number of years, so it's quite a nice transition from Bojess to, to, uh, to Snowflake because Frank's sailed with many of us and uh, something he's always wanted to do is sail a Mod 70, so it was an easy transition to go from Bojess to Snowflake and, um, and the team carries on. Well, I just think it's a fantastic venue with a lot of history. Um, you know, we're hoping for great conditions. I mean, these boats are extraordinarily capable, but we need some breeze. A lot of us that sail these uh, boats on the edge are always slightly nervous with, with the conditions you can get down here, especially around this part of the world. This is the only one where I haven't got line honours on, so it's a bit of unfinished business uh, for, for me personally. Uh, it's going to be hard this year with five of them, but look, it's a beautiful course. Um, and about Malta, it's always a great pleasure to be here. The story of the city is amazing, so we are training during the day and the night we are enjoying the city. It's always something to learn about Malta, so I'm really happy to be here. Well, I think this race is one of those iconic events that it's been around for a long time. The race course is one of those neat ones where we don't go in a straight line. Um, I mean, the city of Hobart's got its own style. It's a big long race in a straight, straight line, whereas this you've got a lot of obstacles to get around and there's always, so it's a series of effectively gates and um, as we go around each one of these corners and islands it brings the fleet back together again 